Hello, physio friends. When this article was written in February 2020 and later published in PhysioSpot in March 2020, we had no idea that the world would be entering a historic and sustained global crisis. Leadership in the good times can be hard enough, yet navigating the pitfalls of a worldwide pandemic that impacts virtually every aspect of one's life requires a uniquely thoughtful and intentional approach to leadership. I'm a strong believer that the true character of a leader shines through in adversity. Now, not surprisingly, to this point in the crisis, there have been numerous examples of physiotherapists all over the world rising to the occasion and demonstrating inspiring and resilient leadership. Now, there are two areas of leadership challenge that seem to be surfacing amongst physiotherapists in this watershed moment, and both relate directly to the rehab leadership framework shown here. These two areas of challenge are leading self and leading others. Now, in an effort to ensure our leadership remains exceptional, let's explore a few questions in each of these leadership challenge areas and consider how we as physiotherapy leaders might be intentional and proactive while continuing to be effective leaders through the COVID-19 crisis. The first leadership challenge area is focused on leading self. Now, as we think about leading self, consider the following questions. How are your personal values and beliefs influencing your leadership approach in this crisis? What assumptions are you making about yourself that may not be entirely true? Which aspects of your emotional intelligence are being tested and strained? How are you coping in the area of stress tolerance? What actions are you taking to monitor and manage your stress in a positive way? Are you aware of your emotions during this time and how you express these emotions when tensions run high? Now, what steps are you taking to resist the temptation to act or react and avoid rash behaviors while solving problems when emotions are involved? Now, beyond emotional intelligence, have you taken steps to manage your physical, psychological, social, and spiritual wellness during this time? Resilient leaders seek and uncover opportunities to maintain a sense of control when times of uncertainty. What elements of this situation are within your control? Is it time to be assertive, persistent, and even tenacious when considering the actions necessary to avoid being held captive, thereby remaining a capable and effective leader while under strain? Now, the second area of leadership challenge during this difficult time relates to leading others. Have you uncovered any negative beliefs related to your team that need to be tested for accuracy? Are you considering the individual circumstances of each member of your team and seeking opportunities to provide support? How might you inspire hope, resilience, and optimism within your team despite this daunting and often fearful situation? What approach are you taking to look beyond your own circumstances and act locally in a socially responsible manner to support those in your community who are hurting? What is your strategy for maintaining the quality engagement and performance of your team? Is it time to take the temperature of your team and see where they're at both individually and collectively? What opportunities exist for you to coach or mentor team members who are struggling under the weight of this situation? What is your approach to communicating within your team in order to maintain team cohesion and engagement while the team is geographically dispersed? Now, many distributed teams right now are considering regular team huddles using technology, using virtual coffee breaks and daily check-ins to stay connected. How will you lead your team towards a future that looks different? What steps are you taking to proactively approach this shift in the new normal with intention? Are you seizing the opportunity for change that exists within this crisis? It's not uncommon for teams to experience conflict during emergency situations. How will you continue to encourage productive and respectful conflict, yet still ensure that relationships remain strong and supportive? And finally, what other opportunities exist for your team that you might be overlooking? Now, interestingly, we are seeing a dramatic increase in the amount of interest in leadership development through Physio Plus. Now, I suspect this may be a response to the demand for capable and competent leaders to help guide us through this challenging time. Now, furthermore, thanks to Physiopedia, free access to Physio Plus has been offered to all universities to help transition to remote learning, and over a hundred universities have signed up. If you're interested in leadership development and would like to chat further about setting a course towards improved leadership effectiveness, or maybe you have a leadership challenge that has you stumped, please reach out to me anytime.
at jason at rehableadership.com and I'd be happy to talk it through with you. Wishing you and your families well. Take care.